third yep. place finish. Definitely more stable, I feel, than you know, the beginning yeah. of the season for sure. Because he was still trying to soul search, get his character and stuff like that. Yeah, he was kind of shaking this season. He wasn't getting all the placements he wanted to, right? Still like within at least top eight, but for Charlie, it wasn't what he was accustomed to. Yeah. And now for him to finish third, you know, I know he's not happy with it, but he's definitely happy to at least be back in the money, right? Back to how he was able to get his victories. But now we're gonna see Nico versus uh, different Fox here. It's gonna be Eon, of course. Yeah. We'll see how this goes down. Sorry. Okay, I mean, that's one of the big weaknesses of the sword characters, mm -hmm. is that their tempo on how they try to space with aerials. There's not too many different options, so he just goes for it, and then it's a lot easier to parry the sword characters, I'll say, than other characters, I feel. All right, I like the fact that Eon's looking for the dash dancing here, trying to see how Nico's gonna land. Oh! oh. Yo, man, he, he reached out for victory and he pulled it. Yeah, I mean, he knew that the four smash was going to be the right range for that side B. Yeah. I feel like he already preemptively had that decided when he saw that side B coming out. Good stuff, and intercepted him with that down tilt. Actually going to get a lot of damage afterwards. Good parry, gets the punish here. You get frame advantage for going for parry. Nico has to go low here, and I like the fact that Eon went for the down smash. And unfortunately going for two of those air slashes, Eon gets the punishment on that one. I mean, I saw what he did. He went down and tried to mix him up with another air slash, and he went higher that time to try and catch him before he get the ledge grab, but Eon was one step ahead, just moved around it, and Nico. knew that he could get that down smash afterwards. Nico gets a second back air here, and that's one of those things that Nico has been going for in terms of back air. He gets a lot of uh, a lot of neutral win for going for back air, especially with the percent that Eon was at. Anytime oh. he gets back air, he kind of sends Eon to the other side of the stage. Right. So it allows him to still put up edge guard situations. Goes into the jump arm Monado here. All right, try to keep it safe here, keep it clean. He doesn't want to get comboed by Eon, but unfortunately the thing he was trying to avoid, it definitely happened to him now. Eon gets the up throw. It's an up throw check. We're going to see how Nico's going to land. Nico looking to see how Eon's going to respond at the sides. Yeah, that was one of those difficult situations. He tried to jump out of the way, tried to jump out of disadvantage. Not quite going to work out there. This is one of the things where the ledge was too far, so his safe space was not quite going to find itself. Forward into neutral. Area. There's the forward throw. Nico yet again for the ledge guard situation. Puts in the bus jar. It's going to be able to deal pressure and damage, but the only one doing damage and taking stocks is gonna be Eon with one one apiece. Okay, double fair. Into up air, got it. And continuing on actually, knew that he was gonna go into shield art and decided to follow up on the combo because it's gonna take him a while to come back to the ground. Are you able to use air slash to recover? Low jump high, I like the fact that he probably went for the forward smash, but risked a lot here. Great empty hop there into the up tilt. When he got him on the platform, that's the thing to be worried about is getting hit by one of Shulk's up tilts. Oh, just goes for charge up smash. Even with J smash art, not quite able to do it, but we'll see. Nico still with the control, but Eon is taking him back off stage. How does Nico get back from this situation? Oh, he decides to just run up and uh, okay. Eon can it to him, but he doesn't go for the up smash. I like it. Nico actually just trying to avoid the up smash because he felt it. Goes in the shield. All right, gets the up tilt. It's a smash art. If he gets able to get a grab or a solid read with the up tilt. No he's way. No way. He, he had him so pressured. He had the back air, right? And for Eon, the one place he was trying to avoid with smash art Monado is the ledge. It makes sense for him to just try to pick center stage. And Nico forced out the situation there. Knowing that the platform was there. If he would have gone for a down air, if he would have gone for a landing or aerial, up tilt was going to be there to cover it. I can't believe he killed with up tilt smash art at 90. It was like sub 80. Yeah. That was so crazy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Going to Battlefield this time around. It's like, okay, we'll, we'll try a smaller stage so we can burst in on Nico a little bit faster. This time I mean, around. right. We talked about how small, how this stage worked out well for Eon. Man, but it is looking nothing to work. What, nothing but better for Nico. Able to put Eon on 73, but he comes back. It's a platform extension here, and then the shield right that's only gonna allow him to get more up airs. But yep. nope, but no aerial combos. Yeah, that time there was not enough knockback on any of those up airs, so he was just able to cycle it through and keep him underneath. Very smart stuff. That's that was awesome. That was, that, that, was, that was nothing but the cojones on that man to go for that forward smash and to know that it was gonna connect with that part. Yeah. That just kind of sucks in general because he had a good read on that. He just didn't get the tech roll in, and that just left him susceptible to that forward smash. But good on Nico just to be able to call that out as soon as it came around. Yeah. And goes the shield there, definitely knowing that Charlie might be going for an up tilt or an up air. Fortunately, though, he loses the stock. Nico, I like the fact that he understands uh, uh, angling my uh, my shield super important, especially with shield poking being so prevalent. 
Okay. That's <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> you don't see too many footstools, and you saw Eon just trying to wait. He didn't quite get the preemptive guess, so he just let him be. Yeah, I'm to looking to see up. if Nico's gonna go for a get up roll, and Nico just decides to, hey man, I don't need to roll any other direction, but basically get a normal get up. Yep. Nico doing a good job of mixing up his tech rolls in. Also. Yeah. So he goes oh. from tech roll in into like tech roll out, and Eon is just waiting. He's trying to catch it, but he's not expecting it, so he doesn't go for it that time around. Nico gonna get shine spiked. I think he caught him out of his jump too. Yeah. Unfortunate. It's one of the things you don't really expect to see sometimes is the shine spike. Now. It's not more of a shine, it's not more of a spike, more of just the fact that it has more damage now. So it's actually able to hit you and it'll hit you down, especially if you're able to read your opponent at that bottom of the stage. Smash oh. art though, this is pretty much the Nico mode art. And he gets the forward and he drags him down. It doesn't matter if all the hits connect. It only matters if he subs from coming that low. Yep, he had the stock lead. That's what he tried to go for against Charlie in game five. Which yeah. didn't quite work out the way he wanted to, but still, that's gonna work out just fine I against mean, Nico. When you're filling the sauce, man, <laughs> when you're filling the sauce, man, it's time to pull it out of the bag and put it to work. All righty. Yep, still sticking with the same characters. I really don't see either of these two really switching it up unless Eon really feels back into a corner, maybe on game four or five. But we'll see, going back to stadium. If you're, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the chat here. Life Spear 9, if you're wondering how does Nico Monado cancel so quick, because he's using Malk, which is Monado Art Landing Light Cancel. He's able to just cancel the Monado. Or I think it's Mal's. He's usually able to cancel the Monado by switching it pretty, in a certain way. Um, but I don't know if Nico uses it pretty prevalent. He's told me about some of the Monado Arts tech that are useful and some of them that aren't useful anymore in this game. We'll see how things go. And immediately, Nico into the Speed Art for sure. The one thing is that Shulk able to cancel Monado Arts last game, but he's able to do it more with the Monado Art Wheel now in play. Yeah. All right, let's see. How did he get back to the stage? Okay, just roll through. We're still gonna get caught by that dash attack. Goes into the shield art. Eon's doing a good job of keeping himself right outside the space of where Shulk wants to put his aerials. Like I said before, Eon, that's the name of the game for him. He's just controlling space and just being right outside of where his opponent wants to throw out hitbox. He's very good at being aware of how his opponent wants to maneuver around and try and get a hit on him. Mm -hmm. It's the up tilt. How'd you get back? I like the fact that he's very careful to go for aerials on the ledge here because with Eon pretty much just hunting him down, he knows. And in that situation, right, able to get to that up air. For, for Nico, for sure, like he knows, like if I'm going for a, a, an aerial at the ledge, Eon might be trying to space me out with the back air. Smooshing his uh, shield art. Yeah, both of these two respecting each other's space. They don't want to commit too hard, otherwise they're gonna get hit by a big combo. Especially Nico, he's doing a good job of spacing away from his opponent rather than in and then getting something unsafe by accident. But here we go, jump art. Does he go deep? Oh, and he almost had the right read too, just misspaced it very slightly, but the smash art is available. He doesn't get the clip though. Gets the up air, nice. Of course, that's why Nico goes in the shield, all right. Doesn't want to get comboed. Down tilt scoops him up there and he tries to go for a forward, especially with having Eon at the ledge. Would have been great to hit him there. Pretty much both players, you know, trying to respect himself in the neutral. <laughs> I like the fact that Nico's able to just hop over the laser. Doesn't want to give Eon any opportunities here just to sneak in any percent at all. Oh, wow, landing fair. I think it was like fair Oof. one or something and it sent him really high up. Oh, purses a button. And the chase, yes, he recognized he wanted to go to Lage and get that safe space, but not going to come the way he wants to. I like it because at that point, Nico went for the shield art to avoid getting kills, but once he already canceled off the shield art, he was trying to go back to the ledge, right, just trying to survive. Don't pick the same place to land. And the ledge might have been a lot safer, but at that point, Eon had chased him. At that time, gets a dare. It, of course, it is two hits. Look like Eon either tried to parry it or just didn't realize it. But here we go, the Nairs and the dash attack so good as a character like Fox, you're able to chain them together because of their low knockback. Couple lasers, Eon is able to sneak it in. He has Nico at the ledge, able to land with a forward air, able to put in a back air, pushing Eon towards the ledge himself, but he gets the follow up there, an upper. Eon, oh, I would have loved to have seen the upper possibly, but he's looking for him to land. All right, fans, are we gonna see a Nico stock anytime soon? All righty, here we go. That's it the could be possible, throw. and it comes out from Nico putting it on at the ledge here. That's why we see him mix up the jumps. Gonna get the forward air. 
Oh, doesn't get the grab. Smash Art is finally gonna go away. Gonna be able to live another day until the time comes back for it. But here we go, the up tilt. Oh, oh, I like it, Shield Art. art. The nick of time, Nico switching, kind of going back to the way he played in Smash 4, right? Switching between all the Monados just to make sure he can able to survive a little bit longer. Gets that, gets a little bit away from the up smash. And Eon, the couple oh. dash dance is too short there. This is oh, then there. Oh, he doesn't get the right read. Oh, and he's got him off stage. Shulk smash has the right opportunity. Where's the commitment from Eon? Where's the commitment? He gets the up beat. And Nico with the tech just in the nick of time. Yeah. That time, Eon doing a great job of timing that Firefox. How does he get back? Oh, and just crosses him up, gets that back here. Pops it one more time, yeah. and he gets a dare. And that actually does it off the side. Yeah, at that point, right, Nico went for the down air. Had a really good opportunity. That lasting hitbox. Pretty well for Nico to just go for it at that situation, right? Because he had Eon at the bottom of the stage. Him going for down air, I'm not going to lie, pretty good. Down air comes out like... It's active from frame 23 to 25, so it's uh, it's got a slow startup. Definitely not a Nico stock, but it's the Nico factor came in at that last oh, moment. Oh yeah, that was great that was stuff. Really Nico factor. Nico up 2-1 against Neon. All right, here we go. Kalos this time around. Let's see if the wider space and uh, the different platform layout helps out Eon this time around. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, if he actually would have gone that forward, that might have been a curtains, but Nico probably should have went a little bit further. Yeah. Smart for me, I kept his jump that entire time, even though he was at the risk of getting dared. Yeah. Uh, you gotta save your jumps in 2019, man. That's one of the rules here in Smash Ultimate. Smash Art gets the neutral air here. Missing that forward tilt there. All right, just keeping up that space. Tries to bait out something after the lasers, not able to find anything. Tech goes to the ledge there, gets the down tilt, and he sees that Eon went high for the side B. I like the fact that he was also ready up there with the up air. Eagle's kind of been using up air a little bit, up air and down air a little bit more this mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Smash art. Oh, the dash effect nice comes in, yeah. Able to catch that landing. And decides to go into shield art knowing that, okay, he's got the invincibility from the angel platform. Might as well just try and go ahead and just keep myself safe from big combo potentially and return back to neutral once we're both susceptible to being hit. Yeah. I mean, Nico, pretty much pretty good use of speed here. I'm trying to use that to able to move in and out of Eon's range. Finally get a pick here, gets that forward and not able to convert to another option here and tries to go for the downer yet again. We mentioned earlier how it might have been a good cross-up tool, but Eon not gonna let that happen. Good dash dancing to read how Nico's gonna get up and the last hit of forward there, sending Nico down to the bottom of the stage. Here's the shield on Nico looking at the extra life live a little bit longer. Man, Eon was so stubborn to trying to get tech roll in, and he's not finding it, and Shulk, Shulk, Nico has been doing tech roll out every single time. He's just not getting the right guess. The shine spike not gonna come in. Regrab, oh, but he gets his get up attack just in time. I don't think Eon was re ready for him to come back shield. to the stage so quickly. Nico trying to use the F bad, I'm sorry, the F smash out of the shield there. Sorry, up B out of shield. I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm lost in words here. But he's trying to use the up B out of the shield there, but unfortunately he was unable to get that, and Eon gets the punish here. No up smash. I thought that might have been a missing play. Yeah, maybe we're trying to go for up or something, but here we go. Down air, yep. Trying to use the down air back on the landing here. Pretty good option for Nico. That back air, Nico with two stocks, 27%. Eon, a lot of momentum into Nico's favor for Eon. He's got a lot of catching up here. Yeah, just uses that shield art just in case the angel platform invincibility keeps him uh, alive here. Oh wow, that was a quick uh, grab to the ledge. I don't think Eon was ready for that. All right, how does he get back? Just goes for a regular air slash. And wow, it's Eon actually giving him a lot of space. I respect back. it because he knows that if he tries to go for a ledge guard, he might be able to turn it around with, with him coming back on the stage. Going for a backer, which which he's been able to do so far this entire game. Mm -hmm. So for Eon to give him some space and rather take center stage and look for Nico to come him, get the whiff punish on him, could be big for Eon. And he gets that neutral, almost gets the up smash. That would have been crucial for him. But he yeah. misses that opportunity here. And Nico, oh, I like to toss up the forward smash there because he knows Eon would have gone for the up B or the side B. He might have been cutting both. That's why he angled it downward. Oh, okay. Decides to just run in and do it. That time around. The one you don't expect is when your opponent just runs up to you and up smash it. He sees the opportunity <laughs> and he takes it. Yep. It's, it's like a you get one type of thing. Yeah. Oof. Oh, the down tilt not able to pick up with anything else though because of shield art. 
Nico's just doing a good job of controlling the, the pace of the match. That, sh that air slash out of shield, able to keep him at bay one more time. And again, the back air, smash art is available. One up tilt, one air slash, I guess. Anything to potentially take it. All right, gets the dash tag. Nico holding on to the shield, has Eon. He has to go low here and almost gets the downer yet again. And I like the fact that he still goes for the up tilt, sensing that Eon used the jump recovery. And again, same situation, and the downer will take it. Nico with a 3-1 over Eon in Grand Finals. Yep, not even a chance to tech because to send them outwards. Not gonna get 